This is Suzanne in France, property reference number SIF001554. Beautifully situated detached house with three bedrooms, one of which is on the ground floor with an ensuite. A particular feature of the property is the gardens, which extend to just over a hectare and have river uh, frontage and streams going through the garden as well. Straight into the kitchen uh, breakfast room with fireplace and wood burner. Big cupboard built in on the right hand side, used as a pantry. And there's a fridge stored in there as well. And a view through the front door to part of the garden. There's oil fired central heating in the house. Through now into a study area or inner hall. wood panelled as you can see and this gives access to the dining room house is south facing so most of the windows are to the south again some wood panelling and through into the living room with a wood burner and brick fireplace For those preferring bigger uh, rooms rather than the number of rooms, uh, the inner walls could be moved. Back out now through the inner hall. This is the downstairs bedroom which has formerly been let as a B&B &B room. The shower room right next to it. So this has got an independent access. Beautiful wrought iron safety screen. And then as you can see, the covered porch area. It's divided so that there's a garden area dedicated for people staying in the room. Back through now into a recently fitted shower room. A pedestal basin. Large walk-in shower. Toilet. That's a macerator toilet in this one. A heated towel rail. And radiator. It's all fully tiled. Back out again and into the utility room. Covered on the right hand side is the boiler cupboard. With a boiler that was fitted, I think, in 2007. space and plumbing there for the washing machine as well and this is the access to the first floor on the first floor now you've got a standing a sliding door at the top of the landing which can either be used to close off the, the staircase or for the shower room got mosquito nets on the windows and that's a view out the front over part of the garden This has been turned into a cat's play area, but actually a study or seating area. And this is the sliding door, which can go either way. So we'll just look into the shower room. Vanity unit and shower. A separate toilet next door. With a hand basin.
This is the first of two first floor bedrooms, currently being used as a gym. But easily big enough to take a double bed. That's east facing and behind the sliding screen there you have a wardrobe hanging space. Back across now, top floor. And into the second bedroom. This one's west facing. The window there's west. now outside as you come up to the property these are next door's chickens there's a double gate let's see river say that is on the boundary which is well known for trout and salmon fishing Recently built carport there on your left hand side with a concrete floor. Gardens both sides of the drive. Plenty of outside lighting as well. Let's see, vegetable garden. A very productive one. The current owners spend a lot of time in the garden. And just see the house at the far distance. Lots of different, different seating areas in the garden as well. Fruit trees. And the current owner also uses two pumps, electric pumps, to water the garden. He brings it up directly from the stream. A chicken coop and run. The other side looking back, the other view from the vegetable garden. Chicken run at the back. A little seating area there. And then through the second gate. Garden's dog proof. Nice sturdy bridges that have been rebuilt going over the stream. Perfect weather for doing the video. A shed on this side and covered area for garden tools. This is a chicken coop and then behind that you've got the soft fruit area with netting. What you can't hear on the video is birdsong. There's a huge amount of birdsong there. Properly nice place to sit out and watch nature. Large area here, laid lawn with mature trees. And at the top end, it goes into a small wooded area.
look back across at the house. Be like having your own nature reserve. Nice little seating area, first of two in this uh, area of garden. Another look back across to the house. That's the other seating area. Huge variety of mature trees and shrubs. And the area at the top there is where it goes into woodland. At the back of the house, it, there's a track that leads onto the GR route. So you've got an, a nice walking route directly from the property. And it's about a 20 minute walk to Sodowell. of the shed. I should say shallow really, it's more of a summer house than a shed. A decking area to the front. Stream again at the back. And the property does have its own mill race. This is the end gable where the access is, the independent access to the B and B room. And on the right, you'll see a building which is used as a summer kitchen. Has got a wood burner in as well. Apologies for the flashing lights, but it really was that bright. Back across another bridge now. There are also natural sources, sources on the land. This is a large parking, turning and seating area at the front of the property. You can see a small greenhouse there. Shed attached to the garage. And this one's used for log storage. So every inch of the garden's been gardened. And even around the back of the property.
As a correction, the mill race does not belong with the property. It's been re slate hung recently in the west end. Back up behind the house now. And this is coming down from the back to the porch that gives the separate access to the B&B &B room and the little garden that has been allocated for guests when they're there. That's the summer kitchen and you can just see the two tree trunks there which have been hand carved into like a totem pole almost but one's an owl. That's the summer kitchen behind. This is inside the summer kitchen. There's a room at the front, there's a kitchen, and then behind you've got the wood burner and a little snug seating area. And back out. This is the seating area for the Gite as well. The B&B room, rather. If you'd like any more details about this property, please head across the website, suzanneinfrance.com. Thank you.